Good day, viewers. My name is David Davis. I'm a pastor of St. Albans Community Church, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, based in St. Albans in the United Kingdom. It is my honour to present to you the Open Heavens Reflection today, based on the Open Heavens Daily Guide, written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Today's topic is Foundation, How Strong? And the Bible passage is taken from Psalm 11, verses 3 to 5. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence his soul hates. And the memory verse is taken from the first book of Timothy, chapter 6, verse 19 storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Let us reflect together, brethren. The Bible passage that we read today is true regarding every situation in life. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Having the right foundation is so fundamental in life. When something is going wrong in the life of a child or even in any organisation, it is important to check the foundation. There is only one foundation that is fit for all purposes, the foundation that is laid in Christ Jesus. That is how Paul put it in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 to 15. By the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, and someone else is building on it, but each one should build with care. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone builds on, any, on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stones, wood, hay or straw, their work will be shown for what it is, because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. If it is burned up, the builder will suffer loss, but will yet be saved, even though only as one escaping through the flames. In this wise, we also need to consider what the Bible says in Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. As we train our children, we are laying a good foundation for them in life. This training will involve sending them to the right school, where they can have a combination of the right education with moral and spiritual instruction. Schools where they can be trained in the life skills that can sustain them in life and make them to be people who can see life through the proper lenses and not people with a blurred vision of life. A friend once said that our children do not take our spiritual nature, but rather they take after our biological nature. We need to be careful that we do not manifest the fruit of the flesh in the way we lead our lives. If we are living a life that does not glorify God in one way or another, we can be sure that our children will also manifest the same. This is really scary, because whatever seed we sow, that we shall reap. It is time for us to invest in the well-being and the future of our children by teaching and instructing them in the way of the Lord and allowing them to have a personal understanding of God and sustaining a personal relationship with Him. When this foundation has been properly laid, we can be at rest wherever they find themselves in the world. And today's prayer point is, Father, help me to lay a very solid foundation for every member of my family. Thank you, and may God bless you all.